Hello everybody, welcome to part two of my Android Studio tutorial for um, making, putting multiple items in the row for your list views. In my last, in the last video I coded the main activity and threw in the database helper and created the layout for activity main. So if you didn't see the previous video, go ahead and watch part one first of all, or this is going to not really make any sense. Yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll make the layout here. I'm going to make, uh, let's do list adapter view. And we'll make another one. And this is just going to be view contents layout. So the view contents layout's simple. It's just going to be straight up list view, just like that. And hopefully, yeah, it's just called the center horizontal let's get rid of that so it's just going to be a list view with the ID list view and we can close that we don't need that anymore and the list adapter is going to be a little more complicated I'll probably skip ahead in the video because this is kind of boring just watching me type out a layout so for our list adapter view if you go into design basically I just made a linear layout a horizontal linear layout where I have three columns and each one of these columns is going to populate with a, a item from from your array list that you're going to pass it so if you want to look at the code here we go uh, the IDs are just going to be text first name for the first column text last name for the middle column and text fave food for the third column and if you don't know how I broke it up into even columns like this what you do with the linear layout is you use a weight sum so you can put any number in here but 100 makes it easy to cut up into even pieces so use a weight sum call it uh, the sum equals 100 and then each one of these pieces you would define to have a portion so a third of 100 is 33.33 repeating so if you give each of each one of these a layout weight of 33 it gets divided into three even columns so we're going to start making our view contents which is going to be the class for this for this list view I guess I can just throw in the concrete uh, here we go. set content view Make a couple globals up here. Uh, so I need my database helper, like always. And we're going to have an array list of type user. We'll call it user list. So I haven't made this class yet, that's why that's red. And make our list view. So this I haven't made yet. And we need a cursor. So this integer right here, num number rows, num rows, is going to represent the amount of data that's going to be stored in the amount of rows that are stored in the SQL database. Let me say if to check to make sure there's anything in there. So I think I have. Oh no, don't do that. So I need my toast. Let me go back to the activity and grab that. So I don't have to type it out again. Shove that in there. Uh, if if data is empty, basically, 
If the, if the number of rows equals zero, then it will just print this out. So that, that should handle all your null pointer exceptions. So you won't have to wrap anything in try catch. So this is how you can iterate with a cursor. Use move to next. And this is where we're going to store our user data. Data dot get string. I'll, I'll explain this in a second here. I'm just going to type it out. Get string two. And data dot get string. Whoops, don't get short. Get string three. Get string, not string. So, um, yeah, if you want a better, ex well, I guess I'll explain it here anyway. Yeah, my other SQL tutorial, I'll explain this too. But So the reason why I pass a 1 here is because in the database helper, um, this, is, this is technically position 0. This is 1, 2, and 3. So if you want the first name, you pass position 1. And that's what I've done right here. So this will be the first name. Then, this, then the last name, and then favorite food. And then we're going to move this all into our user list array. And a user list array will take items of type user, because that's the way I defined it up here. I defined this array list to take uh, user type parameters, or variables, I guess. I guess you can call it variables. Well, probably parameters. Um, and I haven't made this class e either, but I'm going to call it three column list adapter. Adapter to the column. This adapter is our dot layout. This is going to be our list adapter view that we made. Uh, this guy. So with the three columns. And we're going to pass our user list. And then set the list view to the adapter. List view set adapter adapter. Okay, so that's it. Now we just gotta make a couple more classes and we're done. Oh, I need to oops int i. Actually, I don't think I need this. I think I can just, I think I can just do that. Yeah. Okay. So what am I gonna do next? Um, I'll quickly, I'll quickly make the user class, and then in the next video I'll make the three, three. Uh, I can make the other two in the next video actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll end this video, and in my next one I'll do. I'll make the user class and I'll make the three column list adapter. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video.